All right, guys, so uh, listen, today we've got a pretty insane episode of Upcoming Sneakers. We've got a whole Yeezy calendar for October. We've got some more information on the Jordan 1 Travis Scott fragment. Remember, they didn't release on the Nike Sneakers app. Well, we got some more information on a possible restock coming very, very soon. So you definitely want to stay tuned. But first, of course, we got to get into a release recap, which is not going to take long at all because there was hardly anything that dropped this weekend. In fact, this is the only thing I got this weekend. So why don't we just quickly check this pair of sneakers out together. Uh, I haven't seen it. I'm not the biggest fan of these, at least from the images. Let's see if this changes my mind. This dropped, I believe, on Saturday, possibly Friday. Either way, it's the Billie Eilish Jordan, uh, and this is the 15. So let's take a look at them. Let's see. You get some special paper, some brown paper, and uh, here they are. So this is the only sneaker I managed to get over the weekend. Either way, let me know if you guys want to see a review or something on the Billie Eilish Jordan 15. But either way, these are going back in the box because we've got a lot to talk about. Oh, also real quick, the Yeezy Knit Runner. I did get these in hand. There is a full review of these insane sneakers up on the channel. So if you guys want to do me a favor, go and check it out. Drop a like on the video. These are insane. And obviously I give my full thoughts and opinions on these crazy, crazy sneakers. Either way, the review will be in the description if you wanna check it out, but let's get on to these upcoming sneakers. All right, so on the subject of Yeezys, we have the full October calendar. Yeezy brand has planned a great month ahead. Some of these sneakers were pushed back from last month. Again, we're still feeling the effects of all of these delays uh, from Yeezy and Jordan and Nike and Adidas, just all of them are getting pushed back. So either way, let's get into the October calendar. This is what is set right now. However, again, these are all subject to be delayed. So let's start off with the first one, which apparently is going to be dropping tomorrow on Monday. Uh, that's the 4th of October. However, it's also slated on different places to drop on the following Monday, so the 11th of October. This is called the Miss Stone colorway. We saw Kanye wearing this. Either way, um, it's a very, very clean. In fact, this may be my favorite colorway of the Yeezy 500 High. It's a solid, solid option. Now, if this does drop tomorrow, it will be on the confirmed app as kind of a shock drop. It will just appear either tonight or tomorrow morning. And then on uh, October the 16th, we have the Wash Orange Yeezy 700. I gave you guys my opinions on this last week. It's nice. It's a very, very clean colorway. Like, I'm not going to say it's bad, but I'm just kind of, again, I begged the question of, do we need these? I mean, we got the Wave Runners recently. Do we need a Wave Runner upper with an orange midsole? I don't know. It could be cool, and I think that it's still going to be popular. I just managed to get the Wave Runners, so I don't really think I'm going to be needing these. Either way, they are apparently dropping on October the 16th. A new Yeezy 380, which we haven't seen in a while. So this is the Pirate, apparently Pyrite, something like that. October the 18th is apparently the release date for this one. Also apparently going to be dropping on the 18th of October. I guess they're both going to drop together. The 18th, is that a Monday? I believe it's a Monday, so it might just be the shock drop style that adidas is getting used to and then we have the mx oat apparently on october the 23rd so we still haven't seen the mx rock which apparently was supposed to be dropping in september that's the kind of all over black one but apparently we're getting the uh, the mx oat this is the very colorful very, very colorful pair of the mixture version of the Yeezy 350, again, October the 23rd. The highly anticipated Yeezy Foam Runner Vermilion, the Red Octobers, is uh, apparently going to be dropping in October, as it should. This one, I hope, doesn't get delayed because that will kind of go against the whole Red October thing that they've got going. So yeah, no exact date for this Vermilion Foam Runner, but again, October, I would be very surprised if they got delayed because, again, it would ruin their plans for a Red October Yeezy. And that is pretty much what is going to be dropping this October for Yeezy brand. Now, we also got a new Yeezy 350 that was revealed by Yeezy Mafia. Another kind of mixture effect one to add to the trio of colorways that we now know of. The, uh, I don't even think this has a name. It's just the 350 V2 MX, I guess you could call it aqua or blue whatever you want to call this one, this is actually pretty clean. So if you are interested in any of these three Yeezys, here's the information that we have right now. Again,
again the 23rd of October for the MX. Oh, that's that kind of yellow one. The MX Rock is apparently pushed back to December time. And then this blue one is going to be a 2022 release. Everybody who's been doing this aged effect kind of custom on a lot of Nike sneakers. It's been done on the Jordan 1s. It's been done on plenty of different dunks. This aged midsole effect thing that people like to do and chucking like sail laces in the sneaker as well. Well, Nike is watching you guys because now they are releasing an aged colorway of the Dunk Low. And I gotta be honest, these things look pretty cool. But at the same time, I mean, you could do this with the pandas. I know that this is a navy and a white. And obviously Nike is still really just doing everything they can to push as many dunks out as possible. They're trying new models, updated models, uh, women's only models of the dunk. And um, they're just trying to see what sticks. How can they increase the longevity of this hype wave for the dunk silhouette for as long as possible? Now this doesn't really have very much information on when it's gonna drop. I would imagine this could be a 2022 pair, but I will give you an update if I do get any more information. So yeah, cool pair of dunks, but at the same time, it's just another dunk. <laughs> Jordan Brand knows what they are doing. Check this pair of shoes out. Now again, this is a render, so don't get your hopes up too high, but this is a Jordan 1 High OG Heritage coming for summer 2022. So they're not gonna give you the OG Chicago colorways, but they are gonna use that same, or apparently they are gonna use that same color blocking that was on the front fragment highs over with the Chicago colors. So that is instantly going to make them an extremely popular pair of sneakers. Listen, Jordan Brand and Nike, they know what they are doing. They know exactly what they are doing. They get you guys super hyped up for the Travis one, even though traditionally you guys wouldn't really like that color blocking that was on the fragment highs, but they get you used to it. They put the Travis name on it and then they drop you with this Chicago colorway. Now we're all kind of used to that color and uh, we're gonna be loving this one as well. So yes, apparently this pair of Jordan 1s is going to be coming summertime of 2022. Either way, I feel like if this is the actual product, Nike, you guys are you guys are playing the game. You guys know what you're doing. And I guess that brings us to the Travis Scott Fragment High. This is the possible shock drop that is going to be happening. So there's not much information on this. However, the US recently got, got a kind of a random release of the Lemonade Off-White Air Force Ones. And we do have some credible sources that are saying these are going to be shock dropping. Now, this exact page on Instagram I don't know, um, so I'm definitely not going to say that this is legit. However, this is just the first one that I found. And I assume, you know, this is an echo chamber. There's a lot of different places that could be getting their information from, but it is definitely worth talking about. So this person is saying worldwide Travis Scott fragment Jordan 1 drop could be upon us. And that is pretty much it. Now this post is circulating around um, and some credible people are definitely talking about this. So I definitely would kind of keep your ears out. Just be aware that this potentially could happen. Again, there was no Nike sneakers release. So it is very probable that we would see one. You should have a decent amount of notice before these do drop. I would imagine you should be seeing this from a lot of other people as well as Instagram pages. So uh, don't get too panicky, but I would imagine these would be coming pretty soon. So we've got a really interesting pair of Nike blazers, and this is a collaboration with Acronym. Now look at this blazer. You know what, it, it really reminds me of the early leaks that we saw of the off-white blazer that is apparently in the uh, in the works releasing soon. The silhouette looks pretty plain. It just looks like an average pair of slightly modified torn up blazers, but at the back, what is up with the back? And, and why is Off-White doing a very similar thing of this plastic thing on the back? Personally, don't really understand it, but at the same time, I think it's interesting because I don't think I've really seen anything like this before. Maybe it's a pull tab. Maybe it's some actual thing that adds some practicality to the pair of sneakers. Either way, this very interesting pair of blazers is apparently coming this year in 2021. Do you remember the Comme des Garcons foam posit that was circulating, I believe, around 2020 time we saw all of the in hand and on foot images and then it just disappeared we didn't hear anything about it well now we've got some updated news on this pair of sneakers so apparently this collaboration is dropping on november the 26th 
this year, November the 26th. Now we've got a solid black pair and a solid white pair. And I think a lot of people were talking about this and interested to say the least about this pair of sneakers, nothing crazy, but it is very interesting at the same time. And um, yeah, there's your release date. Okay, when I saw this one, I just thought, ah, you missed, you missed, because there's so much potential with this collaboration, but it, it just seems like it's just not really that, it's, it's very underwhelming. So take a look at this. This is the LeBron James collaboration on an Air Force One. Now you think LeBron James has been seen wearing so many pairs of Air Force Ones, I believe he's a big fan of them. Now he comes to make an Air Force One and it's something that's this plain and just, it looks like something Nike would drop on a regular, just it wouldn't sell out or anything like that they would just drop it on their Nike website and nobody would care. Nobody would even be talking about this pair of sneakers. I mean, are you guys feeling this pair of Air Force Ones? I mean, it's it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. It's checkered on the back. It's a nice color blocking, but I would just expect more from a LeBron James collaboration on an Air Force One. I don't know, it just seems underwhelming to me. These are official images, so these will be coming very, very soon. 2021 is the release date. They are called Strive for Greatness. Um, and I guess that's pretty cool, but they just, I don't see anything that represents greatness about this pair of sneakers. Maybe I'm wrong. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments. Okay, let's speed this up. Let's go rapid fire. Nike Sakai Clot, the second colorway on the LD Waffle. They are coming back this month. And this one is very, very clean. I did mention it last week. So again, we're not going to spend very much time, but there is a release date now. October the 7th is going to be the Clot release. So the juice stores, and then the worldwide release will be on the 9th of October. If you like this colorway, which I almost am tempted to say that these are better than the first ones. However, the materials don't look as good. So I don't know. I'm going to have to see these in hand. We've got some detailed looks at the Soulfly Air Jordan 1 Low. This is the Carnivore colorway. This is a pretty cool pair of uh, Jordan 1 Lows. And we are seeing a lot more Jordan 1 Lows. Surprised? No. So this pair of sneakers has been teased uh, for a while now and we finally got some on foot looks. So I did want to show you guys. Apparently the release date is December 2021. So pretty much right around the corner. So this looks very interesting. A lot of different patterns and materials going on. It's not my favorite Jordan 1 by any means. We're going to keep it moving to Drake and Nike with their underwhelming Nocta collaboration with this pair of hot steppers. This is apparently going to be releasing this month. We have official images. It's again an underwhelming silhouette in my opinion. I don't mind it at all. It's an interesting model but of course with someone as big as Drake attached to it it seems underwhelming to say the least. Now something a lot more interesting is the New Balance Soleil Bemberry and this is called the Yurt. They're doing a whole range of clothing and different colorways of this New Balance silhouette. The Yurt, which is a very interesting name. It's kind of cool to say, Yurt. And um, it has a whistle on the back, believe it or not. It's a shoe with an actual functioning whistle that you take it off your foot and you blow and it and it makes a whistle sound. I think it's fun. I like that. It's, it's interesting. There's something going on with it. You know, I think that that's really cool. New Balance Soleil Benberry has been doing some really cool things. Um, it's an interesting silhouette. It's not, it's not my favorite, but at the same time, like it's interesting enough for me to really kind of want to check it out. Um, there's this kind of tan one, probably my favorite. That's a nice earth toned color. It looks rugged. It's a nice silhouette. Um, and then this gray one. In fact, this actually might be my favorite. I take that last one back. This one is my favorite. Predominantly gray, a lot more New Balance. So yeah, again, these are releasing in 2021. There has been a lot of promo by New Balance and um, Soleil Bemberry himself. So I would imagine these are coming very, very soon. Supreme is not done yet. Even though you may think the hype is dying, they're coming out with a shocks to a shocks ride to for that matter. Three colorways, spring 2022. Because it's a 2022 release, we're not going to spend too much time, but I thought it was interesting. Um, Supreme is really digging into the archives with some of these uh, collaboration silhouettes. This silver colorway, this green colorway, which I'm not a huge fan of. And what is this? Pink? Vault pink or something like that? Summertime of 2022. You want to know what Jordans you're going to be getting? Well, uh, take a look at this one. This Jordan 1 is going to be releasing in the summer, and it's a denim version of the Jordan 1. It kind of 
first reminded me of the Hyper Royals, just because of that kind of faded effect. I mean, the Hyper Royals kind of look like some kind of denim dyed. It's a nice one, but it's not anything amazing. It's interesting. I wanted to let you guys know, but that's pretty much all we have. Now, we've heard about a Stone Island New Balance collaboration in the works for a while now, and we've got some images of the actual silhouette. So take a look. And honestly, guys, I think they killed it. So this New Balance silhouette, I've actually never seen before. It obviously looks like a very, very runner sneaker. Like it looks like it's literally made for running, which I believe it is. It actually looks very, very similar to the Nike Vaporfly, that running silhouette with the kind of um, carbon fiber plate in the middle. Now, apparently these are going to be coming this month. So if you wanted some New Balance and some Stone Island mixed together into a running shoe, I I think these are actually pretty cool. I'm excited for them. I definitely want to get my hands on them. You know, I want to see how comfortable they are. They look very comfortable. Last one up from me here today. And again, it's another Travis Scott Jordan one uh, rumor. And this time it's a low. Okay, so I want you guys to take this one with a grain of salt as well, because even though we do have a lot of people talking about this and a lot of credible sources talking about this, it is still just a rumor. There is another colorway, apparently, that is going to be potentially dropping maybe in 2022. But at the same time, he was wearing a lot of samples of that OG colorway, and this could just be another sample pair. But uh, a lot of pages are running with it. A lot of people are running with this idea that there could be a second Jordan 1 low. So we don't really know. It potentially could happen. At this point, I believe it would be a 2020. 22 release. I can't imagine them dropping another one this year. And of course, Travis Scott already has a bunch of sneakers in the pipeline for this year. So yeah, just wanted to put that one out there. Potentially, we are getting this all over white and blue colorway. Seems a little bit underwhelming, in my opinion. That is uh, all the news we've got today. I tried to run through it pretty quick. Again, a lot of information for you guys. A lot of cool stuff coming through. And of course, holiday season is around the corner. So get ready for that, guys. A lot of good content coming to the channel so please guys do me a favor subscribe to the channel join me over here every single weekend we're doing upcoming sneakers um so subscribe for that either way thank you so much for coming through hanging out for yet again another video thank you for liking commenting and of course subscribing i'll catch you guys in the next one but until then